all right what's good y'all how we are doing I'm about to break down the sample let's get straight to it all right so here's the sample it's like four sections like one two three four i'm gonna just break it down like i usually do it so i'm gonna start off by breaking down the a part then move on to the b part then the c part and then the last part right here yeah i'll start off with this sound right here here's the first main melody So here's the MIDI for the first melody. This is the MIDI. I used Contact and I used the On Dine Bank from Teletone Audio and the preset is Insecurity. So I was just freestyling on the keys and I made this right here. Just that little uh, run or that little chord or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna just delete these for now to show you how I made it. So after I made this little run right here, I duplicated it. But instead of like putting it on the second uh, bar right here and having the melody go like this. And just loop like that i took the second one and i had it coming in right after this one so right after this note hits this one is coming in kind of like off beat it doesn't sound off beat but you know what i mean it comes in right here instead of right here so after that i just duplicated this top note right here or this half step note right here out here just like that yeah and then i just duplicated for the next two bars right here And I liked it, but it felt a little bit empty right here and right here. So I just took the chord right here, the E minor chord without the middle notes. And I think it was some, somewhere around here or here. And I pitched down five semitones. One, two, three, four, five. So now it sounds like this. Right here, that's how it's hitting. And then for the second part, it's this exact same melody, but pitched up a whole octave. So here's how that section sounds. So after I had this, the effects I added was just an EQ. So I took out some harsh frequencies right here, and I took out the low frequencies right here. And I also added an Echo Boy analogued preset right here. So I'm going to show you bypassed and activated. So here's bypassed. cool so that's the main melody of the whole sample or like the first pattern after that i just uh, exported it to audio it should on 200 semitones or actually like i made it initially in f sharp minor and then i pitched it down to e minor so so here's this chopping thing i showed y'all in an earlier video but i'm gonna show it again in case some new viewers are watching or whatever so basically i was just listening to the sample and i was just like paying attention to where i wanted a, like a glitch effect or like a little effect to take place in the sample and i wanted it to take place right here let me delete these two for now I'm gonna recreate it. So what I did was just chopped up this section right here, clicked it, duplicated it right here. Now we got a new sample right here. After duplicating the chopped up sound, I just delete these two and drag out this one again to get rid of the clicks in the main sample. So now we got this one right here. So if we open it up, it's the whole sample right here. As you can see, if I open it up, it's the whole sample. We don't want the whole sample here. We just want this chopped up thing. So I'm gonna go into this make unique as sample and save it. So now when I open it up, it's a complete new sample and it's only this one shot thing right here. So uh, what I did was I pitched up a whole octave. Now it sounds like this. And then I reversed it. So after I pitched it up and reversed it, I just zoomed in right here. I clicked this stretch tool right here. I made it twice as fast. Now it sounds like this. And then I duplicated it, highlighted both, dragged this one a little bit here and this a little bit here to get rid of the clicks. And now it sounds like this. Oh my god, that's not how it's supposed to sound. That's kind of the process, but it's it's not supposed to sound like this. Maybe I chopped up another part of the sample, but here's what it actually should sound like in the sample. Yeah, so that's the process. I just don't know which part of the sample I chopped up. Uh, yeah, so I got this right here. And then this one right here. So it's the same sample that is chopped up. Uh, I just zoomed in here and turned down each one by a couple decibels to give off that delay effect, kind of. Now we got this melody with these chops right here. Cool. 
So after I had these two sounds, I grabbed a lead and it sounds like this. Yeah, let me show you the preset and the effects. So as you could hear, the pattern is pretty simple. The preset is from Frank Duke's plugin, Cradle the Prince, and it's the jumbled concept preset inside of the leads right here. So here's the pattern, it's pretty simple. It's the same pattern, I just took this note right here and pitched up two semitones. So like this, these are the same, I just pitched up two semitones. Uh, playing some random keys on the keyboard right here. Yeah, you know, something like that. Anyways, uh, here's what they sound like together. I kind of liked it right here because it comes in right after these chopping effects right here. So the chopping effect comes in and then the lead and then another chopping effect and then another lead. So here's what the three sounds sounds like together. And all I added to the lead was a Valhalla vintage verb right here. All right, so after these three sounds, I grabbed a couple accents right here. I grabbed this accent, this accent, and this accent down here. And all of them is from a upcoming kit that I've been working on. So I'm gonna show you the before and after how each accent sounded. So the first accent is the accent number 34. That's what it sounds like in the like kit. After importing it, I pitched down one semitone and I changed the time, like the BPM of it. Now it sounds like this. I also routed it to mix the channel to 12 and took out some of the high frequencies right here. The next accent is accent number 42, which is this one right here. Uh, so after importing it, I also pushed it down on semitone and time stretched it a little bit and now it sounds like this. So way faster, uh, no effects on that one. And the final one is accent 44, this one. I chopped it up, pitched up 800 cents, so eight semitones, and I also time stretched it by removed like all of these sections right here. So here's what it sounds like in the playlist. So way slower, way brighter, cause I pitched it up. So here's what the sample sounds like with the accents. So if you just look at the sample right now, you can see that each sound has its own pocket. So we got the main melody that is like pretty busy throughout the whole melody. And then we got these accent things that comes in right here and right here. And then we got the lead that comes in right after each accent or yeah, pretty much after each one of these chops. So the chop ends here, the lead comes in here, the chop ends here, the next lead comes in here. And then we got an accent at the drop just for some more energy when the like sample drops. And then we got this accent right here, kind of offbeat. So right here would be at the next drop, like at the third beat, but I put it here instead. So let me just show you the difference real quick. So this would be at the drop. I feel like it's more surprising when it hits here instead of hitting here. So yeah, I'm gonna just play it again. I, don't know, I like how it fades slightly before the third bar into the next bar. I don't know. Anyways, and then finally this one right here just for some more energy at the end of the sample. So yeah, it's just some placement strategies, I guess. Just some tips on how to arrange your samples or where to put your sounds to not like don't don't make too many of them clash. And then the final sound for the A part is this bass right here. And same thing here, as you can see, I chopped it up with the ADSR. It doesn't fade too much, it just has these small bass. I'm gonna show you the MIDI. Here's the MIDI, here's the one shot. The one shot is from uh, Pilgrim and Based Ones Genesize, from their Genesize one shot kit. And here's the MIDI. Simple, but you know, chopping them up, uh, doing this square thing with the ADSR to add more bounce to the sample, you know? But that's everything for the A part. Let me just play you the A part one more time. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, for the B part right here, let me move everything to the side. So for the B part, I kept the original melody. Got rid of these chops right here. So no chops. I got rid of the lead melody. I kept this accent right here, but I got rid of this accent. And I kept this second accent right here. So let me just play what that sounds like.
but I added two more sounds, two new sounds right here into the B part. And the first one is the same preset as the lead that was in the A part. So it's the same preset as this one. But it's a new melody, so it sounds like this this time. So the preset, like I said, is the same one. It's the jumbled concept, but it's in a higher pitch. It's in a higher octave. That's why it sounds different, but it's the same preset, same mixer chain, so the same effects again. And here's the pattern and same thing again. I was just messing around with these keys right here. Okay, that, something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna play it again, I guess. Same mix, same effects as the F. I kind of liked it. It was fun to play that little melody. Anyways, so after the lead, I added this sound right here. So it just felt a little bit empty with these sounds right here. So I just wanted to layer the, the original chords with something. So with the chords. I mean, you can barely hear them, but I don't know. I, I felt like it was a little bit empty. So I opened up Analog Lab and it's the like main, the stock first preset that, that loads up when you open Analog Lab. It's this one. It just worked to just, just fill up the frequencies, you know, add something in the background. And it's like the E minor to the B minor chord progression, just like the first melody right here if we look at the root notes. So nothing crazy, but here's what it sounds like. And the effects on that is a Echo Boy, Analogued, Chorus Juno, Deep Chorus Preset, and an EQ taking out the lows. So yeah, that's the second part of the sample. Let me play you the second part now. Okay, cool. So that's the A part and the B part. Let's move on to the C part. Kept the same original melody again. And I got rid of the chopping things again, and I brought back the lead. And I kept the bass, and I brought back this new lead melody, but I chopped it up. So if I bring down this one right here. So we got the original lead melody right here, and we got the new lead melody right here. But instead of keeping the whole lead melody right here, I removed the parts where it was clashing with the original lead melody. And I was just experimenting with some stuff, bro. And uh, yeah, so here's what the next pattern sounds like. just messing around trying some new stuff that's a c part nothing more crazy going on here and the final sample or the final part is pretty simple as well i kept the original sample i brought back these chopping things i brought back these accents and the bass so it's a pretty simple section of the sample no, no new songs or nothing crazy done here <laughs> And that's pretty much it for the video. If you want to download this sample, there's a free link to it in the description below. It's in Free Loops Volume 1 on my kit store together with three other loops. So yeah, go get the pack. It's four loops for free. Use them. Tag me on IG if you use them. Tag me on TikTok if you use them. Send them to my email. I got my email everywhere on my YouTube and on Instagram. Just send all your labs over, bro. Let me check out all of everything you do to them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Like and subscribe. Peace.